Hey everybody, welcome back. Um, this week I wanted to start out just by saying thank you to all the um, viewers and especially those who leave comments. Um, I can't tell you how many times throughout this build that um, there's actually been critical comments that have caused me to um, change what I'm doing or change paths. And um, I don't know, there's a lot of YouTube things out there that where people actually listen to the comments and make changes. So. I just want to say I'm very appreciative for all those who uh, are watching and who make comments. Uh, I, I just wish that somehow you guys could make them before I make the mistakes. So please comment and I hope you enjoy. Okay, starting off where we left last week, um, I'm going to continue to kind of bundle up the cables and route them to the back. I do not have, I don't yet have, I got on order, um, a split loom for all that, it's gotta be pretty big. So someone mentioned, uh, hey, are you gonna make it orange cable? Um, my initial thought was no, because uh, each each cell is just 3.8 volts. Um, but somebody else mentioned, yeah, but if you kind of stack them, essentially over here, the, you know, this is like, or I guess this side, from ground to 3.8, and once you kind of stack, you know, essentially, once you get to the end, it's gonna be, roughly 400 volts from there to there. So um, I think I'll, I don't know if they make orange split loom that large, but maybe I'll just put a piece of orange tape or something on it. So for now, I'm gonna go ahead and put in some grommets and um, I'm still going to put in the cooling, but again, I don't have that stock right now. So I'll need to make that, put the grommets in and when the split loom comes, I'll Go ahead and wire all that and put it all the way to the back. When the cooling plates come, I'll go ahead and put those in and get those plumbed as well. I have the three grommets in on this side. Again, they're they're all really tight fits, which is good. And this one I can like, I can barely pull it through. So that's like nice, good fit there. And uh, we'll get one of these cables in up here to go here. But I'm gonna leave that one for later because again, that one, it's fed all the way to the back. So I might, um, well, I don't know. I might wait until I have the back battery pack to run that cable, but we'll see. I am going to start uh, finding out where to put these cables through the firewall. So let's take a look. All right, so it's probably a little hard to see, but um, I can't work too well from this side, um, but essentially there's, there's room. Um, I'm gonna put three, three holes through there. Uh, one for kind of positive, one for negative, and then one for all the monitoring wires. Um, on this side, so again, I'll probably just drill three holes here. I don't know if I'll do one high and two low, or anyways, they'll be right there. And essentially a panel will be here to kind of cover it, and I'll run those um, down the middle. All right, I got the uh, big cable wires uh, kind of where I want them. And so there's there's this one going here. Again, I'm quite pleased with these uh, grommets. They're really, really snug. Um, I got one coming here 
and then I don't know if you can see but back there that's two of them coming through I'm gonna bundle all this together and send that through as well um, on this side that's kind of what it looks like so again, we got one more to go um, I'll probably go ahead I need to do this anyway for brake lines I've got those kind of anchored out of the way I just need to do the same thing for the coolant hoses and then also for these large cables so I've got some uh, kind of big c-shaped clamps I might just drill and uh, do some rib nuts to kind of secure those all right I've got the I've got this uh, bundle here loomed up and uh, going going to the back there so we'll work on this one next all right um, so I've decided that the uh, coolant lines I'm gonna run here in the back so I'll have holes here and here for the coolant lines to go in and out and um, this cable I'll have kind of running back there as well so I'm kind of moving this out I've got to uh, cut slots in these and then I probably won't reassemble until I get the uh, cooling plates and plumbing kind of hooked up all right I got the uh, these are the monitoring wires and so I've got those all in the orange tubes here and here and they go back I don't know if you can see but yeah they go back through the firewall so that's kind of power power and then those are the monitoring wires and they'll they come through here and I'm gonna go ahead and put everything again they're gonna all go back through there but I gonna bundle them up again more of the orange sheathing and see if I can get it all clean going all the way to the back does it look like we're going backwards um, so in the process of stuffing all these wires through um, you know the firewall here we had two of the little labels come off so I had to go back and essentially do continuity test to figure out uh, so there's anyway two wires that were not labeled so I had to take connectors back out uh, do some continuity and relabel them so we are good to go um, with that being said though I, I'll probably keep this in its current state so I can add the cooling plates and this way I can also access the back to because again I want the the lines to run in the back there for cooling so I will do that I'll just kind of leave it open so I can have access there and um, yeah I will go ahead and start looming up the wires and try and get things uh, tied out of the way All right, uh, we took the uh, kind of back clamshell off. The, the reason for having it on well, was a couple reasons. One was, again, to essentially just store it because it's essentially the size of another car. So it's nice just to kind of have it there. But the other purpose was really to, you know, make sure that the position of the motor was correct. So I've got all those dimensions down. I'm now gonna start uh, essentially cutting the the back part and getting ready to weld the frame here I am at the back of the car um, what I am going to do to modify the frame I'm gonna cut essentially right here um, so this arm kinda goes away and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna join essentially another uh, round stock out this way um, then I'm gonna go across so crossbar there I'm gonna have then two go down. I've got plates kind of on all four spots. And anyway, so we'll go ahead and start cutting there. The first welds I'm going to do are the two tubes that direction. All right, so after I cut it off, 
Got my other tube here and just kind of clean up the end. So I'll go ahead and put a kind of bead weld around there. Um, then I'll figure out how, how far I need to uh, cut it off. Um, gotta do the other side too. Thought I'd do a quick uh, before and after. So uh, again, just kind of cleaned off all the steel and yeah, I think we should be good to go. Okay, here is the joint all ready to weld. All right, there's the weld. Um, we'll go ahead and clean it up like the other one. Here are the welds kind of all cleaned up. So now we're going to go ahead and uh, mark off where these need to be cut. All right, now they're all cleaned up. Um, I'm going to go ahead and cut off there and there and uh, start notching out for the cross member. You are the welder. What do you think? Here we are. Uh, this back support here is all welded. And um, again, it's, well, at least for us, it's pretty hard to, to do the welds. There's a lot of start and stops, but in general looks good. I will go ahead and clean those up. Um, from here, I'm gonna have some, some tubing go from here down to about here. I've got a plate. I've got another tube that's going to go from here, kind of diagonal up to here. And that'll be kind of for the back. And for the front, we'll, we'll get to that one later. All right, clean up the welds. Um, so again, everything's kind of nice and smooth. Don't have any kind of, my, my concern is I'm not that good at welding. And if you've got kind of like a spot that's way on this side or way on this side, um, when anything flex or bends or whatever, that's kind of sees the most stress. So that's why I grind everything down. I think people that are good at welding don't need to do that. So, but I got it all ground down and we'll keep going. Okay. so. I think that's about all we're gonna be able to do for uh, this week. But we're able to kind of weld on the back back part of this frame. I think it looks pretty good. Um, other things that we need to do, so we've got these, uh, these kind of the shock mounts to the rear. And uh, so these will need to go essentially kind of like right around here or so. Weld those on and essentially got the shock traveling from this point up here down to that point right there. So we need to put these these on. As I mentioned before, I'm gonna weld on another tube that goes from here down to, there's gonna be a plate that kind of spans across here. So the one tube will go here, the other tube will go on this side, up kind of diagonal to, towards the middle. And the front side, yeah, it's gonna be a little more challenging because we're gonna put the build a frame for the battery box in the rear as well as mount the 
front motor here, uh, do the front motor mount. So that will be for next week. I hope you liked this episode. Please share and subscribe. See you next week.